downloading the certificate and installing the SafeNet client. In order to use your document signing certificate, you must first install the SafeNet software required to initialize your token. At this point in the process, do not plug in your token until we have completed this procedure. After selecting the link in the certificate pickup email, you will be brought to a certificate retrieval page where you can download the software. Begin by entering the password that you set up when you requested the certificate. Next, you must select the type of software you wish to download, whether for the 32-bit operating system or for a 64-bit Windows operating system. In order to see if you require the 32-bit or the 64-bit software, go to My PC or My Computer, right-click and select Properties, and there you will see if you have the 32-bit or 64-bit operating system. After downloading the appropriate 32-bit or 64-bit software package, you will be brought through some steps in order to set up the SafeNet authentication client. If the installer does not open automatically to help you set up the software, double-click it in the folder where it was downloaded to. Click through the setup process, selecting the correct language, as well as accepting the license agreement. Select the standard installation type when prompted and click Next to continue. The destination folder page appears. Either keep the default installation folder or click Browse to select a new installation folder and then select Next to continue. You may be asked to allow the installer to make changes to the hard drive of your computer. Select Yes to proceed. The updating system page will appear and display the progress of the installation. When the installation is complete, a success message will appear. Click Finish and you will have successfully installed the SafeNet Authentication Client software. But you must now enroll the token before picking up the certificate. So let's move on to Part 2 of 3, Initializing Your Token. You must initialize the new token before it can store your document signing certificate. Complete the following procedure to enroll your new token. Insert the token into a USB slot on your computer. If the token is not recognized by the computer, the SafeNet icon in the system tray will be grayed out. When the token has been recognized by the computer and the drivers have been installed, the SafeNet icon in the system tray switches from grayed out to active. You will be asked to update the password on the token when it is recognized by your computer. Note that the default password on all tokens is 12345678890. After having completed this step, right click the SafeNet icon that has become active and select Tools. The SafeNet Authentication Client Tools dialog box will appear. Select the Advanced View icon. Information about the token will appear. In the tree view, expand the token information. Under Tokens, right-click and select Initialize Token. In the Token Name field, enter a name for the token. In the New Token Password and Confirm fields, enter and confirm a new password that was different from the password that you set up a few moments ago. To initialize the token, select Start. The Initialize Token notification dialog box will appear, warning you that initializing the token will delete any content currently on that token. Select OK to continue. A status bar will appear indicating the progress of initialization. When the initialization is complete, a success message will appear. Select OK to proceed, and you have thus successfully initialized your token and may now move to the final step of this process, downloading the certificate and installing it upon your token. After moving from the SafeNet Authentication Client Software download page, you will move to a certificate retrieval page. From the Select CSP drop-down list, select a cryptographic service provider, in this case, the eToken Base Cryptographic Provider CSP. Click Create Certificate the Token Login dialog box appears. In the Token Password field, enter the password that you created for your token. Click Yes to proceed. The website generates a certificate on your token. 
This process will take a few moments. When the certificate has been created, a success message is displayed. Your certificate is now ready for use. This allows Adobe Acrobat and Microsoft Word to recognize a signature so that you can use the certificate to sign documents.